Hey guys, this is Michael with Mobile Home Offers. I'm going to take you through a, a property that I have an opportunity to buy. Um, it is in a community that I would pull it out of. So I'm just going to give you some pointers on when you're going to look at a home and you're going to pull it, what you need to look for, and as well, you know, if you're going to keep it here, you don't have to look at those things, but it's still something very good to look at and to just always keep it in the back of your mind. So I'm going to turn this camera around and I'm going to walk the house. Well, hey guys, I turned around the camera and today I'm looking at a Clayton 2016 two bedroom, two bath. It is uh, 14 by 60. They are asking, I got a lead. They're asking 16,000 for it. Um, overall, we looked at the outside. The outside is in very, very good condition, but let me tell you, the decking that is a 9 by 21 remember i am moving this home so that is something i got to consider taking apart i maybe salvage it sometimes we don't put uh stuff on that big when we bring it to another park because it doesn't pay so let me go over this vinyl sidings really really good no issues have some great uh windows double panes um, down here the skirting looks very well what I didn't show you is just before I started this video I came and popped off the skirting to make sure the trailer hitch is there very important remember that the trailer hitch let's go around the side you can see the back looks really well I'm looking to see if there's any holes in it um, nothing overall nice AC unit outside the condenser um, they never put on the light outside as we can see it has a nice back stairs we will probably remove those and take those with us um, coming through clean out right there and you can see the uh, decking um, front and back is all wrapped with the skirting so what we will do as well we will remove that skirting and take that with us hopefully we could reuse it um, you know it is different sizing throughout the the 60 foot length and the 14 from front and back but you know that's okay the label right there you always want to get a picture of that go through and at the same time guys I will not forget this I looked to see if they had any axles a lot of times they do take them this one they did as well so I just have to tell my mover to make sure he brings the axles look at that they left a piece of sewer piping we'll end up taking that and a lot of times remember this guys go to the electrical box see how far that electrical goes into that home you can take that with you as well a majority of the time we will uh put a chain to that once the uh home is moved and i will bring my truck back and pull out that wire because i'm going to use it for my next home the more you can use from one spot to the other the better so i'm going to stop this uh here in a minute and we're going to go inside we're headed up the steps now to go inside the house as you can see this deck it's a nice deck but it's built around a tree we have a lot of work as you come up to the front all the shutters around here are real nice the nice storm door as well let's go inside okay we're getting into the uh, living room area and that goes into the kitchen now I'm gonna turn around here to my right and we're gonna go into the uh, the front bedroom and the hall bath it is small you know always look see the thermostats there that's good always guys when you come into a home go through I already have checked the water pressure and drainage of the tub flush the toilet definitely remember to look under the sinks even if it's new look under there see if there's any water um, just check it as you can see turn it on pretty good water pressure bear with me guys bear with me I'm just trying to go over some stuff go into the front room we can see the carpet we might be able to clean this. I say we can maybe clean it and keep it, but you know what? This carpet's pretty inexpensive. We can get rid of it. Now, guys, windows, great shape. Always look at the ceiling. It's definitely a good point. Anytime we get to some areas where, look, we're missing, let's see if I can get that better. We're missing some trim. Looks like they had a dog. Don't worry about that trim missing. The secret is go into the closet and use some of that trim. You might just get a, Take a piece of that old trim off, kind of go to Home Depot or Lowe's, get a little quart, match it up as close as possible, and just paint it. So let's go out into the kitchen area. Once again, some stains on the carpet, no big deal. Uh, linoleum on the floor is in great shape. The heat is on in here, so we're good there. I go through, 
check the dishwasher. I'm not going to turn it on. It's it's in new condition. You know, I will look at the oven, open it up. Let's see, turn on the light. See what's in there? It's in decent shape overall. I'm, I'm pleased with it. I'll come out here, turn on a couple burners. Let's get them all on. We'll see if, uh, how, when do they get red? Well, it's taking a few minutes, so let's go under here and check this. Pretty nice underneath the sink. I already ran water and stuff like that. There's no leaks. Everything's pretty good. Well, look at what we got there, guys. She doesn't use the stove a lot, and we do know that these burners are working. That's no big deal. That happens to a lot of them. Let me turn on the fan. Whoop. There you go. Let's hear the fan. We got that. I know they're working. I'll turn those off. Let's go back over here. Feel those. They are warm. I'll turn those off as well. I'll let that fan blow a little bit, get some of that out of there. Go through, whatever's coming with the home, check it. Okay, someone had a birthday. So that looks very, very in good, you know, really in good shape. It's not gonna take long to clean this up. Washer and dryer as well. We got your uh, heating unit right there. I opened that up earlier, it looks in good shape. Let's go into the master, okay? You have your back door come through in here now I think this home this home is settled and it's only two years old now this carpet in bad shape they had a little dog so I would say that's gonna be uh, cleaned up so overall always look at the roof we have a little thing there but you know what that's from the factory I can tell but overall it's in decent shape now in the master I came through here turned on the uh, the tub flush the toilet check the sink out here now watch guys see that just remember always check the water pressure to see now I don't know why that is um, where the water is exactly coming but let's call this the back of the home the water pressure is not great so I'll have that checked when I move it you know we'll hurry up connect everything see if there's anything stopping it and uh, come back and figure that out but you know what at least I know ahead of time and I'm not getting surprised. Come down here, check under there. Normal stuff in a manufactured mobile home. Go through here, there's the closet. And guys, what's so great about this? In the closet, this master closet is where I would come and take those little strips right there, in there, or down where they're, excuse me, down where it's far, okay? I would use those to repair that window. Let's go to the tub. Tub, it's all right, let's see. Yeah, it works. It's not that bad of pressure, it's not great, but we would just check that. Um, the front does come out a little harder. All right, guys, this is a video I'm just doing a walkthrough real quick okay I checked all the ceilings want to come back here here's the electrical panel always look 200 amps everything there is uh, this home is pretty far from where the electrical is hooked up so there's gonna be a nice a nice wire I could remove there to use when we uh, rehook it back up Come on out here smells as the heat everything's cooling off I'll shut that off Come back here. Things to look at too, even though it's new, check that stuff out. Make sure that uh, everything works there. You don't have to go crazy. And if you want to, turn on the washer if you have time. Run a cycle. Run a cycle in the dishwasher. You could totally take things out of the oven. Check that if you can. What's nice is I'm able to check this home um, with the electrical still on, with the water still on, and it's just a plus. Hey, I just took you through this beautiful uh, Clayton home, 2016. Things that you really want to focus on when you're going through a home is, you know, the water, making sure everything is watertight, go through, uh, you know, the whole kitchen, the bathrooms, check the water pressure, especially if you're going to move it just to see that everything's okay. And then, you know, turn on the oven if you're able to, turn on the vent hood or microwave if you have that. 
open up the um, the fridge and uh, go into the laundry washer and dryer, check out the laundry room, see if everything's good in there. Once again, we're in here. Let me turn this around real quick. Always check that if you can. And when you move these and you're gonna take them off, there's little caps you could get, three quarter inch caps, put them on there. Let me tell you, that has saved my butt a tremendous amount of times because sometimes if you have the movers do it, they will forget to turn that water off. You rehook back water, you turn it on. Oh goodness, we got a little bit of a leak and we gotta hurry up and shut that off. Sometimes it's not a big deal. One time it cost me, uh, you know, about a half a day worth of repair and stuff, but you live and learn. So, hey, I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions or any comments, you know, give me an email. I'll be glad to help you. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.